Hi guys, Exit Rider, hope you're well. Now today, I have Saddlebag 73 behind me on the Bose DSX and I'm going to nab him in a minute for a interview. Not that he knows it yet, but uh, yeah, hopefully it should be a good interview. So thanks for coming along, like and subs subscribe and uh, let's get going. Right, um, what do you think of the bike then, Saddlebags? Is there initial thoughts? Was it what you ex were expecting as well? Well, I didn't really know what to expect, but um, it's quite a nice finish. Fairly comfortable to ride, apart from the seat was a bit hard. Yeah, um, I found the same thing, actually. Uh, now, you've got the Himalayan, haven't you? I have, yeah. How long have you owned that for? Oh, coming up for a year, I think. Right. Yeah. And what made you buy the Himalayan? Um, mainly so I can play around in a bit of green lanes. Um, and use through the winter. So how does this bike compare to the Himalayan? I'd say it feels a bit more road orientated with a smaller front wheel. I dare say it'd be quite good on gravel tracks, yeah. that sort of thing, but nothing too heavy off-road, I don't think. Yeah, because the Himalayan's got a massive front, isn't it? How yeah. big is that? 21, isn't it? 21 on the front, yeah. 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 But the ground clearance isn't as good as this one, I don't think, is it? I don't suppose it is, no. It is quite low, the Himalayan. Yeah. What yeah. about the torque on the Himalayan? Is that quite low down or is it mid-range or it's uh, fairly low down yeah 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 the highest torque's about 5,000 revs I think but it has got grunt low down yeah yeah, yeah. which is what you need really isn't it, it? Is, yeah and that hasn't got that has it no 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 it wants to be thrashed all the time doesn't yeah it? yeah yeah and I think sometimes that's a good thing because it kind of makes it more fun doesn't it when you're revving the guts out of it it does yeah and really going for it yeah. right Takes certainly, you back to your childhood. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> certainly off road. I mean, that that I would imagine it would be quite quite good fun because it would be fun. Yeah, yeah. And the suspension set up pretty well for it as well, don't you think? It probably is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's still standard stuff, yeah. but it's it's pretty compliant, isn't it? Yeah, I'd like to have a go. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we meet up next time, because I'll have I'm, I've got the Himalayan for a while, haven't I? So, yeah. and uh, you're taking the BMW, so maybe we can do a quick lane. When we yeah, meet yeah. up, I'll bring this one and we can meet and... Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah I'll be see how that goes. Yeah, yeah that'd be fun. See. Touring capacity, what's your thoughts on that? Were, were you quite comfortable? Because you're six foot something, aren't you? Uh, my legs felt a little bit cramped. Yeah. Um, I found that with the Himalayan as well. So I put a higher seat on that one. And other than that, I mean, yeah, the, the seating position is quite good. Nice and comfortable on your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a natural feeling yeah, position, isn't it? Yeah. And you mentioned that you were, you found the seat quite hard, but yeah. did you find it uncomfortable after a while? It was just getting to it in yeah. the last sort of 20 minutes. So yeah. so yeah, about two hours and I was starting to feel it, yeah. The actual build quality, the frame and that, I mean, it all looks quite substantial. Yeah. Uh, it's a test of time really, isn't it? You, it's yeah. all quite new, so. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it, with these bikes, is getting consumer confidence and, right. you know, over a period of time. Yeah, but it feels solid, definitely. Yeah. 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 And and when you first see the bike, it, it really, you know, sort of shines through with the way it's all been powder coated. And um, it's good materials, it seems, as well, doesn't it? It does Not look like, like it, yeah. And like I say, it feels solid. Stainless steel exhaust. Yeah. Um, that makes a nice little pop and burble as well doesn't it it does yeah it does sound good yeah. for a euro five bike which are normally dumbed down and, and quite quiet yeah. that's quite a loud exhaust it is, yeah. and how about the feel with the, the clutch the throttle and things like that was that quite smooth did you find the biting point okay i thought the clutch felt really good actually and the gear change was nice and smooth and what i did notice with a the throttle there's a that seems to be an awful lot of slack in that but yes that's just an adjustment isn't it yes um, it was really smooth on and off the throttle. I was surprised by that. I expected it to be a lot sort of snatchier, but 
Yeah, oh, that's really good. That's funny you say that. I, I thought the same thing, actually. I thought it's going to be a lot more snatchy. Um, but it's surprising, even though it's a 650 engine, it is, it's not a fast 650 engine, is it? It's not, no. You know, I, I, I kind of thought that well, I might be able to pop a wheelie, but it's actually quite hard to pop a wheelie. I on thought this that, one. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did wind it up once or twice, expecting it to come up, but no. No, no, no I've given it no a go. Such luck. No, no, that's it, yeah. <laughs> you need a passenger, a pillion for that. Yeah. 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 What about on the dual carriageway when we when I took off just now? Yeah. And you had to catch up with me. How did you find it on there? Felt pretty good. Seventy miles an hour was what was that about four thousand revs I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. It felt comfortable with that. Yeah. Yeah. I was getting a bit lot of wind, but I find that with everything. So. Yeah. It yeah, is quite from. a noisy screen as well, isn't it? I yeah, find. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I mean, when I went on the uh, dual carriageway with it, bearing in mind that I only had this bike when it had done 18 miles, so, you know, it's still fairly new and things need to yeah. settle in and the vibes need to go as well. It's quite vibey at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. When you, when you get up to about 70, it hasn't got a huge amount left, has it? No. Uh, I mean, how, how fast? I mean, I guess you only went up to 70, of course. Uh, 70, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I was to do 80... Yeah, it would have felt okay with that, I think, but it might be pushing it a little bit for extended periods. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I think they say that the top speed of this is 105. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I've gone up to 70 and, and slightly beyond, and uh, I would say that around 75, 80 is where it will cruise to, and then after that, it just feels like you, you're pushing the engine a bit, really. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. yeah, I'd go with that. I, I find it quite nice to ride. Um, it is, yeah. Quite enjoyable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, quite pleasant. And um, handles surprisingly well. Yeah. Feels really good in the, in the twisties. Yeah. So how are you getting on with your channel? You got plenty coming up? Yeah, loads in the pipeline for this year. I've got the, um, I want to do the Trans-Euro Trail through Cornwall on the Himalayan. Brilliant. I've got more rides through times planned. Yeah, that's something which I'm looking forward to. Your rides through time are absolutely Fantastic, yeah, oh, very, very well filmed. Oh, thank you very much. They're not actually that popular, but I think the people that do watch them enjoy them. And yeah. I have a lot of fun making those because I learn along the way. So. Yeah. Yeah. And how long do one of those take to film? Because you send the drone up, you do your research. Um, filming from start to finish is probably only two or three hours. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, the, the hardest part is then stitching it all together, as you'll be aware yourself. Yes. Yeah, yeah no, doing all the editing like. and everything. Yeah. 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 And actually the research beforehand, because I generally look into where I'm going and, you know, so I can say something about it. Yeah. And have you got any big trips this year that you're going to be doing? Uh, nothing set in stone, but I want to go up to Wales again this year. Uh, possibly Scotland and the uh, Lake District. Oh yes. Yeah. So which bike would you take for that? That would be Nikita, the Z900 RS. Right, yeah. Most likely, yeah. Yeah, and why would you choose that over one of the other bikes that you've got? Because you've got the Nikita, which is Z900, you've got the Himalayan. What else have you got? Um, the Classic 500. Ah, Classic 500, yeah. Yeah, um, I'd take Nikita just for the covering ground, really. Yeah. And I've got the luggage kept luggage kit for it so oh yes yeah i can load that one yeah with yeah. everything i need yeah and that being a naked does it get a bit uh fatiguing does it fatigue you at all after a certain amount of time on motorway it does a long day in that on the saddle there and um yeah i'm definitely feeling a bit tired yeah by the end of it yeah because you sat quite upright you know, say no no protection at all so yeah yeah it yeah. does get to you uh, what about ernie the classic 500 which is my personal favourite saddlebag spike. No, yeah, mine too. Yeah. Would you ever take, take that on a long trip or is it just not suited for that? You'd have to have a lot of time, I suppose. I would. If I had more time to play with, I'd definitely like to take that on a trip. Um, I wouldn't mind touring Ireland, Ireland on it, actually. That's oh, yeah. something in the back of my head. Yeah. Yeah. That's an itch to scratch at some point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I must admit, is it the west, no, west coast? Well, down, down the bottom somewhere, isn't it? they got got uh, Atlantic Highway. They've got that. That's something I'd oh, like right, to do. It? Yeah, it's basically like the North Coast 500, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sort of route yeah. sort of thing. But, yeah, that's a trip I'd like to do, actually, more than anywhere else. Really, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's gorgeous country. Yeah. And lovely people. So. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. And it's relative, you know, with all that's going on in the world at the moment, it's relatively local as well, isn't that's it? That's right, yeah. Just one ferry and, and you're in there, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, yeah. 
Right, anyway, that's just a quick video. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. No, it's, it's been great having a second opinion. So right. uh, overall, we, we both like the bike, don't we? Yeah. There's a fueling issue, which we both agree with. Definitely. Um, some, something uh, that just needs tweaking there. Um, but essentially, good bike, isn't it? It's yeah, all right. Definitely. Good, good, good for the money. Yeah. yeah. But thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Let's get back on and get on the road. Let's do it.